in my final years of law school and in my first year as a graduate, very much I worked as a judge's clerk. I was struck by a number of things about the experiences my peers were having in legal practice. The first was that practicing law was just completely different to what they expected. Many people hadn't really known what to expect, but whatever they thought was coming, it was, it was a very different experience. The second thing was that the experiences that my peers had varied hugely across workplace types. And the third was that for some of these people, the, the experiences they had were so uh, negative, so mixed, negative that they ended up making the decision to leave the law after a year or two of practice. And I thought that uh, it would be interesting and important to find out more about these dynamics, about what junior lawyers thought about the transition from university to practice, and about their first few years in the law. And the Law Foundation funding enabled me to spend four months investigating this issue. So I had time to do desk research and look at different studies that have been done overseas to get ideas of the sorts of questions I could ask and the sorts of issues I could explore. Uh, I then was able to travel around New Zealand and conduct 40 hour long interviews with uh, junior practitioners in different parts of the country. And then uh, subsequently I surveyed around 800 junior lawyers who've been practicing for between one and three years to find out more about their experiences in practice. And the Law Foundation funding also gave me time to um, reflect on the interviews I've done, to analyze the data I've collected and to write the report that you mentioned. So it is true that junior lawyers felt that law school could have been more practical. So only around half of the people I surveyed thought that law school had prepared them well for practice. And 87% of junior lawyers thought that their legal training ought to have been more practical. So that's clearly a view that junior lawyers hold as for whether or not it's right. I think that's a, a separate question. Um, and it really depends on what you what you think the purpose of law school is. If the purpose of law school is to prepare technicians who can carry out the more menial tasks automatically upon coming out of law school and can do procedural work um, effectively, then perhaps law school should be more practically oriented. But if you think that the purpose of law school is to um, improve and train lawyers in those analytical and problem solving skills, then perhaps it isn't the case that law school has to be more practical. Um, and I think that the answers that junior lawyers gave to these questions, they certainly point to the difference between law school and practice. The perception of junior lawyers is that law school should be more like practice, but there are other ways to think about this problem as well. So one possibility would be a more comprehensive um, professional studies course that does a better job of helping lawyers bridge the gap between theory and practice. And another possible solution would be for employers to be more aware of the fact that what junior lawyers are doing as junior lawyers is very different to what they were doing at university. You know, they do need time and they need support and they need hands-on practical training. Possibly the solution I think is some combination of all of these three things. Um, so I think there's room for law school to be more practical. I would hesitate to say that that's the only answer to this problem. Though. So in the survey I conducted, I asked junior lawyers about 23 different aspects of um, professional satisfaction. So they were asked about the extent to which they were satisfied and not satisfied with relationships they had with colleagues, the nature of the work they did, the intellectual challenge of the work they did, um, the hours they worked, all these sorts of things. And you know, pleasingly, the majority of lawyers are more happy than not with all of these things, which is which is good. Um, one particularly striking number was that 92% of junior lawyers were more satisfied than not with their relationships with colleagues, which I think is, is fantastic. Uh, in other areas, though, the numbers weren't so high. So only around two-thirds of junior lawyers are satisfied with the balance they have between their work life and their personal life. And the numbers are similar for satisfaction with things like performance evaluations and mechanisms for resolving workplace issues that arise. Uh, something else I did with that, that data was to look at how it varied across different employer types. And it was striking that those junior lawyers working at the largest private law firms were by far the least happy and the least satisfied um, in their professional lives. So it was these lawyers who were the least satisfied with the type of work they did, the environment they worked in, their work-life balance, uh, their remuneration. They felt the least valued, they looked forward to going to work the least. 
and they also reported the lowest expectation of remaining in the legal profession in the medium and long term. Uh, in terms of solutions, I think the one particularly low-hanging fruit for the profession to target would be management practice. So in the interviews I conducted, a very strong theme, I think, was that the experiences junior lawyers have in this period of transition from university to practice, those experiences can be really coloured by the, the people, the senior people who junior lawyers are working for. So those people I talked to who felt that they'd been well supported, they felt that they had clear instructions, they received feedback, they felt as if the manager was on the same team as them rather than being in conflict, which, which isn't always true. When they felt that they were on the same team, those other things were true. Those were the lawyers who tend to be the most happy and enjoying their junior years the most. And a number of senior lawyers I spoke to uh, during the project did, did point out to me that there's not necessarily a correlation between being a great lawyer or great filler of hours and being a great manager. So perhaps it's the case that in the past too much focus has been on legal skills and hours built as a um, sort of an indicator for promotion with not enough focus on managerial training and skills. Perhaps that's something the profession can look at addressing. Yeah, so so those um, junior female practitioners who reported that their gender bore in some way on their prospects in the profession were given a space in the, in the survey to talk about the reasons why. And a number of kind of themes emerged from those reasons, which I can summarise briefly. And I'll discuss in more detail in the report. One is that just there's an overall sense of perception that it is harder to progress as a female and that you will be paid more. That's a perception that junior female lawyers tended to have. Um, there are more specific things discussed as well, such as the, uh, the fact of having children or even the perceived risk that because you are a female, you may at some point have children. That was seen as being detrimental to career progression. Um, and I actually spoke to a couple of people where this came up or was alluded to in an interview and they felt that this was a reason why they were given a certain position. That there was a perception that they would be taking time off work to raise a family because they were a young female. Uh, junior female practitioners also reported um, many instances of implicit or subconscious biases within the workplace in terms of how their male colleagues and clients would talk about females female lawyers or female um, administrative staff or clients. And finally, there were a number of instances of explicit discrimination and sexism um, reported, which are discussed in more length in the report. Well, within the legal profession, I think there's a lot of focus, there's a lot of academic focus on legal doctrine, and there's a lot of professional focus on ensuring client satisfaction, both of which are very important things. I, my sense is that historically the profession has been less focused on itself. It's been less reflective on the way in which it is that we practice and the experiences that, for instance, junior lawyers and female lawyers have and how that impacts on the satisfaction and the productivity of, of people who are practicing law. So my hope is that the report can draw attention to this area and that it can catalyze further conversation and further research in this area as I think it is important.